y'all welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and we are starting off a weekend vlog <laughs> not a full week vlog this time because your girl was tired <laughs> but happy friday y'all um this is the weekend bay is here i will see her tomorrow y'all will see her tomorrow she'll be staying with me this weekend i'm super excited to see her i haven't seen my friend in like a year and a half so i'm um, super excited about that um but your girl's tired <laughs> this is week five of a uh, non-stop and we got two more weekends to go and then i get a break i get a break <laughs> I ain't gonna do nothing the first weekend in April. Like I'm just I'm just gonna lay there and breathe and sleep on and off. <laughs> but right now I'm about to go get these nails done because I got them done before my friend's wedding. And as you can see, it is time. <laughs> we're going to a tequila tasting class tomorrow. Um and I need to figure out where we're gonna eat. And I need to get my home together because right now it's not so let's go on into this nail shop it is saturday my girl should be pulling up any minute now poor thing had a terrible terrible experience this morning the girl that was supposed to be braiding her hair just hit her with the ghosted her not even like the no show not even a hey boo so hopefully sis is okay but anyway she ended up coming down you know to charlotte a lot earlier this morning and i think i see her pull it up uh she ended up we ended up having to find her a shop local to charlotte so she could get her hair braided that is my boo i know that's my girl pull it up in the parking lot we fixing to go to brunch i think we're gonna go to um easy like sunday which i'm excited y'all because i haven't been in a while and y'all know that fried chicken hit like nothing else <laughs> but i am gonna quickly show y'all the mat i end up getting from my desk this is the mat y'all and i even love it even more on the camera i feel like the gold like pops with the chair as well as the gold i have there the tones work is long enough um, I ordered two acrylic stands so I can have my work phone and my personal phone when I'm working. And I had ordered this originally to go with one of the other mats I had got. But then I was like, let me just take it out and see how it looks. And we are winning. So I'm absolutely obsessed. I just still need to tuck all these cords because it's a hot mess under there. But we'll get to that. They should throw my pants on real quick. Oh, I need to show y'all those mirrors that I put up by the way <laughs> funny story about it but also um she hit me with a girl I don't know how outside I want to be this weekend say less <laughs> I'm definitely at that age where it's like you want to cancel it's fine I, I will stay in the bed I will kick my feet up we can chill <laughs> so this weekend will probably consist of a lot of eating we're still going to do the uh tequila tasting but then probably just come back chill and talk and you know do what we do <laughs> and we're also thinking of tomorrow doing like um some content because my girl just got her esthetician's license she's doing a class while she's here tomorrow as well so you know it's nice to have content friends that can help you and you help each other you feel me i got to show you these are the nails she did that per usual i got them cut down quite a bit because they were getting too long this used to be my long length but what i had before was od but i love how it came out the details obsessed <laughs> we luckily were able to get um seated at easy like sunday um and the food is so so good but if you ever, you know, have a little weight when you go and put your name on the list, go on across the street. Like, literally, you just walk across the street to Velvet Taco and go ahead and get you a drink. <laughs> the margaritas were so good. The prices are good. We got the 10 um, regular size. There's a regular size and, like, a bigger size. We got the regular size, which you saw. Um, margaritas, and we got shots of them. And we got a little appetizer of the children's quesadillas for $23. <laughs> so um, by the time we did that and we got seated and stuff, we just came back here, rested for like an hour. And now it's time to get dressed 
to go to the tequila tasting, which I'm still like, been look good <laughs> over here trying to hydrate. Um, I decided I don't have the mental capacity to do a full face today, so we just about to do our little basic everyday look, put some brows on and some lashes and call it a day. <laughs> But I'm excited. Afterwards, we're meeting up with Jess and Keisha. And we're going to go over to Rez for a little bit. And then come back and go to sleep. Because she's doing an esthetician specialist class tomorrow from 9.30 until 4. And I'm going to get up and go to um, to the 9.30 service for church. So, we got to get up. <laughs> It is. I don't want her struggling and falling asleep in class and stuff. So I'm gonna make sure I make up her bed before we go. So we come back, wash the face, and hop in the bed. And I'm not sure what to wear because to me, red is a real, real chill spot. Like very, very chill. Um, but I really just like putting on like an oversized T-shirt like button down type of vibe but the weather keeps changing like one minute it feels super super warm the next minute it feels kind of chilly and you know it's a time of year where everybody's sick and you can't tell like you got the flu is it allergies is it covid and i don't want any of those things so in the meantime we just gonna get this together <laughs> and I'll come back when we get uh, to the, well, when we're headed on the way, cause I want her to come in and say, hey, but she's uh, doing her beat right now. And then we'll get ready to roll out. Look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Bay. Haven't seen her in so long. <laughs> we yes, here. we're here. Hi, Carly, <laughs> what's good? <laughs> we're about to block the city yeah, one time. One time. Moment, but it's just gonna be a time. Okay? Yes. Because <laughs> mom's outside. Period. <laughs> we're about to head on into this tequila tasting and then we're headed to Red. Y'all, I'm the habitually late friend and I want y'all to know I was ready on time. She's on time. Talk to me nice. Period. Okay. <laughs> some of y'all might know this and some of y'all don't. Some of y'all might get with this and some of y'all won't, but listen. You just got the sunshine. So it's been days, several days. <laughs> I think when I left off, it was Saturday. <laughs> we was outside of these streets. <laughs> and it is now very much hump day, but it's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little rundown of what went down. So Saturday, y'all, the tequila tasting experience was so much fun fun so just a little hack for y'all one of the things i do when i'm looking for events or things i'm interested in in a particular area whether it's local to me or even when i'm traveling is i go on eventbrite and i search <laughs> i love um like cocktail type mocktail classes and things of that nature and i'm actually really sad because one of the places a black owned places in charlotte Seems like she's kind of getting away from doing her cocktail classes. I've been looking and I'm like, Shawty got a job again. Like I'm, 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 I'm going to go and I'm going to see her doing it. Neither here nor there. This experience y'all was so nice. It was intimate. It might have been maybe 20 of us if that. And the hosts were so good. They were so good, y'all. They gave us so much history about tequila, things that I had no idea about. Um, the tequilas that they feature have no additives, no fake coloring, artificial coloring, all of those things. These are really, really good pure tequilas. And y'all, they were so good. They were so, so good. So good. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed about the event is that they actually walked around. And I know that it's so nerve-wracking when you're 
starting a venture because they've only been doing this, I think, for uh, two or three months now. Um, it's hard putting yourself out there, y'all. The world can be a cruel, cruel place. <laughs> so to put yourself out there and to formulate an event, to have it being sold out, and to curate this wonderful environment where you can relax and they come and check in on you, asking you what your favorites are, what you thought. It was so nice. It's like those little things that are just so wonderful. So, um... Definitely check them out. I'm going to have the information down below. She has not yet started her TikTok, but I told her she, you know, we got to get on that, my good sis. <laughs> uh, but she does have an Instagram page. Um, I did a TikTok and the TikTok is actually like doing some numbers over there. <laughs> and people have been asking like, where is she? Where is she? I'm like, follow the IG, go to Instagram. Uh, but they were so sweet and I actually reached out to her asking about her TikTok because as the TikTok was growing, I was like, dang, like, I really, like, do you have one? I could mention you in it. Um, Because, of course, I listed the Instagram, but, you know, sometimes people don't feel like hopping off one platform to another. And they were so sweet. And she was like, um, are you still in town? I was like, yeah, I actually live here. And they got me something. I'll show y'all in, like, the next vlog because uh, we need to close this out. I'm um, going to start another week. But how sweet. Their next event is going to be in May. So if you're in Charlotte, you live here, you're going to be here, definitely check it out, y'all. It was so nice. And as you could see, they gave us enough. More than enough. It wasn't just like a little sip sip. You, you, it, it was, it was sufficient. Okay. <laughs> so after we left there, we went over to Red, uh, 28, you know, the hookah spot, real, real chill, laid back. And we stayed there for a few hours. And then we came home, crashed. We were back home probably about 1 in the morning because we had to stop by the cookout. <laughs> and, of course, it was jumping and get us something to eat. And then Sunday... I got up and I went to church. Yve got up and went to her esthetician course. Um, so my friend is a licensed esthetician, y'all. <laughs> Content and YouTube on the way. And um, she was doing her, I'm I'm gonna mess it up. So Vey, if you're watching, put it in the comments. Derma planning, derma. You know how you see the thing where people are shaving their face? It has a correct name and terminology. She is now licensed in that, okay? <laughs> so she got her uh, certification for that, did that specialized uh, class. And then after she finished up with that, I came home and napped after church. We got some Chipotle and just chopped it up. So um, that was the weekend. This is probably like the shortest vlog ever. I feel like you could tell this month each vlog has gotten shorter because that is a direct reflection of your girl's energy. <laughs> um, I did <laughs> set in stone that I'm freezing my calendar from June until the end of August minus the Usher concert because that's at the end of August. And that was already booked. Um, but that's my calendar is frozen and it might extend to uh throughout the fall um because we got goals and your girl is tired <laughs> your girl is tired she's tired um and i just I'm, i don't know y'all something is happening to me that i can't really like express it to words like i'm in this like shift of life where my interests and in things are changing and I love being outside, but what I really like are curated experiences. Y'all know I'm an experienced person. Like, <laughs> I want to do things. Let me go to a wine tasting cocktail class, candles. I want to do a cooking class this summer. Um, I want to do a dance class. You know, I love those things and try new restaurants. And then I want to come home. <laughs> like, real live, I really, really, really like to be home. Uh, before it's dark, I've also realized that one of the reasons I think I go to sleep so quick is I do a wind down. Like, I don't, I'm not with the, you just come home and smack and go into the bed. Like, that doesn't work for me. I like to calm my mind down by watching the show or even if it's just in the background, you know, doing my skincare. Like, I wind down for a couple of hours. Um, and when you're out late, you can't do that. And also with my schedule now, working out before work, I'm getting up at like, when I work out the days I'm going in the office, I'm up at 4.30. Um, the days I'm working out and I'm working from home, I'm up at 5.30. So trying to do that plus like being out late 
it just it just doesn't work and it throws off my whole entire schedule then I don't work out that next day it's just a domino effect um and I'm really trying to prioritize my health so your girl's gonna be converting <laughs> into a daytime girly this summer catch Patty outside during the day okay it was six o'clock Patty wanna go home it's 6 p.m Let's do some type of event. I, I want to go home. I want to be in my bed. Because, <laughs> um, again, even on Saturdays, like, it's hard to get up for church on Sundays. And then Sundays, y'all, I really don't really want to do nothing. Like, my ideal Sundays now are church, possibly brunch, and go home. Like, I want to be on the couch. I want to be getting my mind right for the week. Um, planning out content. Like, I just want to be rested <laughs> um and it's i don't know it's a weird change i guess but like the nightlife like i don't i don't want to be outside at night i don't want to be outside on sundays like that's not my that ain't my thing <laughs> so i don't yeah um so yeah i think that's it it was a really really great weekend i enjoyed seeing my friend um she has actually persuaded me to go on her birthday trip <laughs> So, um, of course, when I told my friends I was freezing my calendar from June to the summer, everybody was like, oh, bet we got two months to pack in whatever we want to pack in. So your girls, April and May, it's a bit intense. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you, but at least in April, um... I think I'm hosting once, and I think that's the last planned hosting I have to probably the end of summer. Unless my parents come, which I really, really want them to come and visit me. Um, I normally just go up there, but I would love them to come visit. But they're low maintenance. They don't want to be in the streets. They just want to go out to eat, come back home, let's watch our shows. My type of vibe <laughs> so i'm excited i'm really like getting my energy back because after this coming weekend which will be easter and a different vlog for you all um i will finally have my first week of rest y'all in six weeks <laughs> it'll be my first week to do nothing first weekend i don't have no plans since my friend's wedding in february it has been a very, very busy, intense March, and it's been fun, but I'm glad we're getting to the end of it, because, baby, the countdown. Um, so, I have been right before a long time, but I had a really, really good weekend. I, was, I haven't seen my friend in almost a year and a half, so it was so good to see her. Um, and, of course, I will be vlogging her birthday trip, so... <laughs> that is that um we found stupid deals on flights like when i say stupid deals on flights like my flight was 57 dollars. like how do you like pass it up you know what i'm saying so yeah i will catch y'all in another vlog if you have any questions about any place that i've been i'll have that down below if you're interested in red i feel like i don't do a lot of content in red because it's such like a round the waist spot you don't really gotta be dressed up i actually don't suggest you really dress up very comfortable laid back um the drinks are cheap like i got a drink it was ten dollars y'all the hookah is like 26 dollars i think on the weekend was that was that with two flavors though and on Tuesdays, they got this special where it'd be like $10. <laughs> so, yeah, I will catch y'all in another vlog. Bye.